Hello, Gluggins people. It's been quite a while, and something's finally gotten me excited enough to play Blooms again, which is the Mermonkey update. The new Mermonkey Tower looks pretty fun overall, and I decided to test things out oh. with regular old Red Border for um, Flooded Valley, with a focus on the top path specifically for the Mermonkey, because it has by far the coolest design, and... With this run, I found out that it's also one of the saddest towers in modern BTD6. Like, you'd think that after Beast Handler, after Geraldo, after Corvus, you'd think, oh, this one's gonna be really strong on release, as with everything else. But no, it's following Rosalia with being, actually being subpar. Like, you'll see later, it's really bad. So I'm about to afford the tier 4 for round 36, so I thought, oh, that's cool, an early save up. And I died to 36 with a tier 4. I know it's supposed to be part support, part DPS, but it's also an $8,000 part DPS into round 36. Pinks. And... While I'm at it, why not just discuss the overall concepts of the top path Mermonkey Monkey for now? It's it's really wacky, cause it has a slowdown effect which stacks on Moablu, which makes you think, oh, I should put this at the front so it maximizes its slow value. That's why you don't see Moablu's being put in the back. And then it also has a Pierce buff, an Aura Pierce buff. So now you're thinking, oh. Spike Factories, I should put this at the back. Do you see the issue? You want it at the front for its slowing capabilities, or you want it at the back for its pierce buffs? Why? On the same tower. And if you're thinking DPS, nope. No, this one is not a good DPS. I thought it would be... Pretty okay, pretty good at save up, expecting like a battery level save ups where it's more so late game value rather than actual save up. No, this one's just bad. Oh my god. It feels like every single round I need to babysit this thing and press naval tactics. Like, I had to get the bottom path tier 4 as well to supplement its lackluster Moab DPS. But at the very least, it's still Flooded Valley with Brickle, with Naval Tactics. So the save up to a mid-range 40k-ish tier 5 should be pretty easy. And I should be affording it just around 63, just in time. Yep. So with the tier 5, it's going to save me, obviously. Yeah, easy clears, nothing to worry about. It doesn't pop leads! Why? That's an extra 8,000 or a hero slot committed just to make it able to damage DDTs. Or a glue storm, which it doesn't synergize with because it has 10 damage attacks. What was the design behind this tower? Artistically, holy hell, it's amazing. But what about the gameplay wise? Everything in its kit clashes with each other. It's so but hey, weird. At least we have the tier 5 now. As long as I remember to press naval tactics, I'll be stable. And not die to anything that isn't lead spam. Round 66. A $40,000 tier 5 dying to round 66. A completely irrelevant round that no other setup can actually die to without dying to everything else. And I got so fed up with 78 that I just bought the other tier five, the Final Harmonic, I believe it's called. Yeah, Final Harmonic. This one, I actually have good feelings about. It's unique, definitely. It has a few bugs where it giga detonates DOTs, which is really funny seeing Solver decimate A, B, A, D of all things. But the actual tower itself, Outside of the bugs, it's pretty interesting. Like later on in the run, I had to figure out the tech with this setup where basically you need to kill things while they're being swirled in the vortex that it makes. So I don't leak 5 billion things, which is pretty interesting. And also 
um, breakable synergies because it's clumping and you can technically just like put her mind slightly out of range and then trigger it using the siren song that the final harmonic makes. It's actually pretty interesting and deserving of a modern tier 5 actually. Unlike this other thing, but let's get back to that later. Also, please notice my absolutely deranged cooking of Geekle 16 as ceramic cleanup. And I am once again reminded that that thing does not target LEDs. I am so happy for it. Also, halfway through the run, I thought, hey, maybe I should do Mermonkey Axis. That'll be fun. Turns out that stuff is actually cancer if you don't go pop side in first. Because of, you know, top path doing literally nothing for $40,000. It's basically a glorified relent. Eh, is it even as good as relentless glue? It's basically a glorified Moab glue for $40,000. Amazing. Also, is it just me or has Buffer Break actually become a real unit recently? I don't know. I don't keep up with the meta, but I feel like Stallless Brick is actually kind of good now. I mean, I haven't seen a stall brick run in a long time, but I haven't seen a run in a long time as in general. Now, please enjoy my suffering as I realized that not going pop side in first was a very big mistake, but I wanted to experiment experiment with LOTA anyway. And this is finally where I get a non mermonkey actual DPS tower and oh my god, the difference is night and day. Never did I ever think I would say this, but oh my god. Preemptive was so much better. Unironically. It's so insane. Especially compared to LOTA. And honestly, I actually do hope that I'm wrong about LOTA and giving it drums, giving it alt buff changes everything. But I don't think alt is going to change anything for a 10 base damage tower. It's really doomed. But also, Concoction is actually pretty damn good with Brickle and Final Harmonic, eh? Because I've spent like 10-15 minutes just on this round, trying to use Relentless Glue, and first try with Concoction, and it worked, somehow. I mean, I guess you basically get free clumping with Final Harmonic, but didn't really think of it. But in summary, bottom path, not as good as people thought it would have been, but overall still very formidable. Mid path to be determined and top path is just so sad. It might honestly be XBM tier. It is so goddamn sad. Also, aren't I glad that they added RLR to regular Kim's games. I was initially against this, but I was wrong. This is banging.